Hello, welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can convert any words in an image into a string. So we are going to actually be using this uh, library called Tesseract, Tesseract OCR. So before you implement Tesseract into your projects, you will need to download some applications before you can truly use your Tesseract. So first and foremost, you have to go to this link. I will be giving the link in the description of the video. So anyway, there will be two applications or installer that you can actually download. So you can either download the 32 bits or the 64 bits installer. Uh, I would say you should go ahead and install the 64 bits as most of the, the laptop or computer should be able to support the 64 bit version. Go ahead and download this. So we will wait for a while for the window to pop up. So once the download is complete, go ahead and click on the installer and then it should bring up this. So OK and then the setup should start running. So so go ahead and go ahead and press next for all the applications and store for anyone using next next and uh, click on next so uh, once done also click on install but uh, i'm not going to install this because i have already installed the applications in my pc so i will click i will quit here but you should go ahead and install so next before you really also use the Tesseract application. You will also need to go to your Anaconda command prompt and then pip install Tesseract, PyTesseract. Okay, so um, once done, you should be able to use Tesseract for your projects. So let me continue. So I have actually prepared a code that I will be used as an example for this tutorial. So for this example, oh, anyway. Uh, even before you can actually implement a uh, Tesseract for your projects, you have to remember you have to add in pytesseract.pytesseract.pytesseract underscore cmd and then you have to look for the folder or the, the directory to your tesseract.exe. So for my case, my tesseract.exe is here, here. So I will just find the directory, copy this and then I would paste it here. So that's that. So it is important that you import CV to PyTesseract as well as write in this line of code. So I will be using this picture as an example for this tutorial. So cv2.imread and the directory to the, to the image. So next we will want to take a look at the cv2.imshow so, so basically, as you can see, it's a book uh, that I have at home. And then what it shows is actually a few paragraphs of words. And as you can see, and this shadow is actually formed when I'm trying to capture the image of this words, paragraph of words. So in this tutorial, we are going to, com to convert the words inside the image, inside the image into string and then I will print it out as a text. Next we will have to convert our image into a gray scale. So let's try. So this should be simple enough. Uh, in the previous one it's actually a bit orange. It's a bit orange but now it is in a gray scale. We are going to use this uh, adaptive threshold. So adaptive threshold actually has a few uh, selection that you can choose to use and in this open cv um, documentation they have actually kindly provided us with some of the examples of what the adaptive thresholding so uh, the original image is something similar to ours so what happened was the there's actually a darker part or a darker shadow that is casting on this image so there are a few things that we can actually do. We can use the global thresholding V equals to one two seven. However, I don't think this is actually what we really wanted. We also have adaptive mean thresholding, but uh, I think there are a lot of noise when we are using adaptive mean thresholding. As you can see, there are a lot of dots that is 
forming in the images and this is actually something that we do not want or we want to avoid lastly we have this uh, that new thresholding and in fact this is actually what we want we minimize the number of noises as well as uh, making the words or the string that we want to capture more visible so i would say this is the best out of the four uh, out of the three of three options and so we are going to use this for our threshold thing so we will be using cv2 dot adaptive threshold image 255 cv2 then we will use cv2 dot trash binary so let's see what we get so yeah, as you can see there's a bit of uh, noise around there's still a bit of noise that is existing on the image we can play around with the values here and here and to see what we can actually get to to see how we can actually reduce the amount of noise that is on the image if you want to know more about uh, what the values actually represent you can go to the documentation to look more about it so one of them is the block is the size of the neighborhood area or block size while the other is the constant that is subtracted from the mean or weighted sum of the neighborhood pixels i won't be going through uh, what they exactly means if you want to you can go to the documentation to look at it even further so let me try around first five uh, it seems like when we increase the last value to five the noise actually reduces nine hmm. let me try again okay i think this is getting better so we can try to keep playing around so i don't think this works okay i think 12 i think this is good enough yeah so basically we sort of get what we actually want a more homogeneous e i think in terms of lighting for the output image so with that we can actually go to the text using image to string tesseract and print out the text so if you run the command using the uh, command prompt you see that we are able to get something similar so the amount of trust control drum to from about 400 million in 1927 to 3 billion in 1929 this inflows of money created a kind of self-perpetuating chain reaction so um i would say this is quite similar to what we want and even though the the the, the document the word itself is actually turn to the right the tesseract itself is actually able to read the words clearly and this is something good so i think that's about it for this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below if not thank you for watching and see you next time bye